What is up guys, it's Justin Spice. Uh, I'm about to share with you today something that took me about three months of research to try and figure out. I have the Asus, this is what it looks like, the Asus E-Slate, the uh, EPE-121. There's two models. I have the later model. I don't think it matters which model. I bought it because I'm a concept artist and I do art on digitally with Photoshop. I bought this tablet so I could have everything kind of all on one screen. I could draw on the screen. I didn't need a keyboard. I have a mouse that does all my shortcut keys. Um, long story short, basically, uh, I hated Windows 7 on it. I switched to Windows 8 because I played with my friends and it was just flawless. It was what touch screen should be like. Windows 7 is not a touch screen operating system. When I switched to Windows 8, I could not use Photoshop. It was laggy, it skipped around, it had zero pen pressure, I installed CS2. I had CS6, I installed CS2, same problem. Research, 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 I finally figured it out and I hope this works for you guys. Ace or, uh, uh, Wacom released a downloadable driver for tablets. I kept hearing people say download the Wacom driver. I was like, I don't have a Wacom tablet. It's an Asus driver with an Asus, uh, here we go, here it is, with an Asus stylus. So why would a Wacom driver do anything? Right here, if you go to um, Wacom.com, I'll post the link in the description, but um, it is a driver specifically built for tablet PC. It says right here, tablet PC enhanced tablet driver. Um, I don't know why they did this. This does nothing for them because Asus is not Wacom. Maybe they did partner together and built the machine together, but it, it was really good of them to uh, to release this. So I will release this link. It is perfect. Um, I was about ready to go back to Windows 8 or Windows 7 and just deal with the horrible interface with the touch screen and last minute I just decided to research a little bit more um, if you click this link oops I'm sorry if you click this link it'll download the driver this will download and figure out if it's compatible it is compatible with the Asus e-slate um, so just download this driver and install it I, ha I ended up having my uh, drivers disabled for the actual hand input touch because every time I would drag my pen across, it would not pick up my pen soon enough to cancelize my hand. Um, this driver also eliminates that problem, so it is, it's beautiful. Um, I hope this works for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave, me, leave them in the comment box and I'll try to get back with you guys. Thanks.